Hello everyone, in this tutorial I will show you how to add environment maps to your scene using the high definition render pipeline in Unity. Create a 3D project. Let's first set up an HDRP project. Go to window then open the package manager. Click on packages on top left corner of the window then select Unity registry. Select high definition RP then click install. Wait for the import to finish then click fix all. Click create one. Now that HDRP is correctly set, let's see how to change the environment map. Close the pipeline wizard and the package manager. Delete the directional light. Add a sphere to the scene and place it in the center. Add a new global volume. Click new button to create a new profile that Unity will use when rendering this scene. Click add override. Select HDRI sky. We now have to create a cube map that we will use as environment map. We will use an HDRI map that we downloaded from hdrihaven.com. The link is in the description. Feel free to use your own. Let's now set up the map to use as environment map. Select the map. Change texture shape to cube. Disable sRGB. This is because high dynamic range images are already stored in linear space. Click apply. We now have a cube map, ready to be used as environment map. Go back to global volume. Enable HDRI sky. Select the cube map we've just created. You can rotate the environment map and play with other settings. On top of adding HDRI sky, you should also add visual environments. Click Add Override. Select Visual Environment. Visual Environment allows you to change the type of environment map you want to use. You can choose between HDRI sky, gradient sky and physically based sky. In this case, since we want to use an HDRI map, we have to set visual environment to HDRI sky. Please note that HDRI sky alone will not work without visual environment. I will explain later why it has worked for us before adding this override. We have now successfully set up our environment map. But before finishing this tutorial, let's see quickly how we can use gradient sky. Set type to gradient sky. Click Add Override, then select Gradient Sky. You can play with the settings to change the colors of your environment. One last thing to highlight. Earlier I said that adding HDRI sky alone is not enough for the environment to work and that it's important to use visual environment and set the type as HDRI sky. At the beginning of this tutorial, we've asked Unity to create a default volume for us. This volume is stored in HDRP default resources. If you go there and view it, you will see that it already has visual environment set to HDRI sky by default. This is why it was enough to make it work with only adding HDRI sky. The settings we add to the global volume override what's in the default volume. This is the end of this tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you next time.